Welcome the team from eAWL, a virtual education platform that helps professors create virtual meeting, exam, and posts. With eAWL, students can also check their grades and assignments online. eAWL was created using Firebase, Google Cloud Platform, and TensorFlow by Ahmed, Kirolos, Khaled, and Mahmoud from Future Academy in Egypt. People expect to get bored by e-learning. Our mission is to show them it doesn't have to be like that. We would love to introduce e In 2020, around 1.7 billion students were impacted by the coronavirus outbreak. Schools are closed and the students moved to online learning. But problems arose and one of them is the lack of interaction and engagement between the instructor and the student. An unproductive learning environment arises when the instructor is unable to observe each student. In our solution, we provide a real-time focus and emotion detection to all students in the virtual meeting. The instructor can create a meeting from the dashboard. When students join, the system will start detecting the focus and the emotion of each student. And based on this data, we will start recommending hints or decisions to the instructor, or even warn him about a problem in the class. All these hints aim to increase engagement during the meeting. After the end of each meeting, the instructor can see a full analyzed report about all his meetings, or a specific class meeting. The report includes the average of emotion and focus, and some hints, providing a new way of helping instructors in the meeting is what we focus on. It's well known that assessing student progress with a low percentage of cheating is critical to a successful education. Provide a new way of managing progress, where the instructor can create an MCQ quiz and the students can join, but with their camera open. For continuous detection during all quiz time, while adding other restrictions, such as detecting type changes and other. If the student violates the rules, the quiz will be ended and we will inform the instructor of violation. Hi, hi Sammy. Hi Team EL. Hi, good to see you. Cool. Awesome. Well, I'll let Sammy introduce himself again and I know he has a couple questions for you, so let's get straight to it. Thanks Erica. Hi everyone. It's Sammy here again. Uh, I lead Google's Global Accelerator and Experts programs. I also look after our developer programs in Asia Pacific, uh, and I'm based in Singapore. I was very excited about your project. And I have to say, you know, I, I love the concept of flagging emotional states during, you know, classroom, uh, class time, you know, in real time, and then being able to give these individual um, reports uh, to the teachers. Uh, I do have a couple questions. The first one is related to that facial expression or facial emotion recognition. Um, what were some of the biggest challenges that you faced using that technology in the context of a classroom? And uh, what have you done to overcome or are you working on uh, to overcome those challenges? Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, it's known that engagement and the feeling of a student play a significant role in their academic process. In face-to-face -face education, the instructor can see all the students' reaction, and if there is unfocused student or negative reaction, the instructor can easily determine whether or not to slow down or speed up or in some other way modify his presentation. But the situation is much different and harder for an instructor in online education to get the reaction and the emotion. Thus, it affects uh, learning process and all the effort that the instructor made in preparing and teaching become ineffective. Uh, one of our challenges was finding an appreciate uh, data set was really challenging for us. Uh, when we started looking uh, at the image uh, with, which was published uh, in, uh, online, uh, it was even harder for a human to tell whether uh, to tell uh, the image is sad or nature. So we decided to move uh, with, with the one published online, but it's not big enough. So we decided to do some machine learning techniques such as uh, data augmentation. Also, one of the biggest challenges is that human emotions are very individual and latent in nature. Uh, not all human, uh, not all emotions can be translated and decoded exactly. This seems to be also challenging for us, and we plan to do more research with experts to identify more on how we can overcome this challenge in the future. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I did notice that, that you'd started testing with students to see, to get their feedback on the platform. Uh, what's your plan to get more feedback from teachers? Yes, we successfully tested our project with teachers. This, this test covered create meeting, report, and quiz creation, and all other features. Then start receiving the feedback from the instructor. One of them was there is a delay in showing <clears throat> dashboard data. But in general, they like the idea that there, there is an assistant for them virtually help in managing the class and determine which student involved more and which one is doing great. For our next steps, there is this, for our next steps, there is still much room for technical improvement in the project especially in meeting function, where we are deciding to improve the accuracy and adding more hints and make it more easier with the students with disabilities to interact with meeting and quiz. Besides all that, we are planning to contact a secondary school to try our project with its students. Thank you. Very exciting. Back to you, Erica. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, we have an audience question. And while we pull that up, I just sort of want to remind everyone who's watching live right now with us, uh, you can ask um, this team, EL, a question and all the other teams questions as well. So go to slido.com and enter in that code GDSC21. So let's pull up the question. So the question is, what is the benefit to the student who is enabling their camera? Many students might feel uncomfortable with doing so for a variety of reasons. Um, so we wanted to learn a little bit more about what you thought about that. At our last test, we found that some student is feeling uncomfortable with opening the camera to all the meeting time. Uh, so we are deciding to uh, uh, talking to more with more experts to get to know how to solve this problem in the future. Uh, this 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 program will benefit them, and uh, providing them a unique e-learning e experience uh, that was not found before uh, for them. Uh, uh, instructors can get uh, all all in, uh, all data and all emotions that they need and that they to uh, create a successful e-learning environment. Great, thank you. It's great that you're getting user feedback. That's super important. Um, so thanks for that. And Sammy, did you have any final thoughts or comments? Absolutely. Actually, you know, it's a relief that you're you're thinking about, you know, the cultural biases and the individual, um, you know, aspects of emotion and and how we we express that facially. And so I, I'm really happy that you already have that in mind. That would have been, you know, one of my biggest concerns, I suppose, uh, regarding this is making sure that we're, the teachers are making a fair assessment. Uh, of the students. So I'm glad that's top of mind for you. Um, you know, part of me is, you know, it's very thankful that this technology didn't exist when I was uh, in class uh, so that the teachers wouldn't have a full analysis of, of my face throughout a, a whole day. But, you know, to be honest, I, I, I'm pretty excited about something like this happening, given the, the state of the world right now, given that, you know, online is enabling so much more education. So I just wish you all, you know, lots of, lots of luck and congrats on all the progress. And and keep building out those great features. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It was great meeting with you. It was fun learning more about your project. Thanks, everyone. Bye, and thank you, Sammy. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.